Hey, seventh grade. New lessons today for math. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a lot, but it's all related. So just bear with me. So we have lesson 17, comparing tape diagram solutions to algebraic solutions. And then lessons 18 and 19, writing, evaluating, and finding equivalent expressions with rational numbers. So let's get started. The cost of a babysitting service on a cruise is $10 for the first hour and $12 for each additional hour. If the total cost of babysitting baby Aaron was $58, how many hours was Aaron at the sitter? So first we're going to write the algebraic equation. So 12H, where H is hours, or additional hours, excuse me, plus 10, because that's how much the first hour is, equals 58. Now let's look at a tape diagram. Now we don't know how many 12s there are. So we have 10 for sure and 12 question mark. So we're going to subtract 10 and we get 48. So 12 equals H equals 48. 48 divided by 12 is 4. So 4 additional hours. So we would have 10 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 58. So he was at the sitter for 5 total hours. Okay. Next one, three friends went to the movies, each purchased a medium-sized popcorn for P dollars and a small soft drink for S dollars. First, write the expression that represents the total amount of money in dollars the three friends spent at the concession stand. So we're gonna write three times P plus S because we know that each one purchased popcorn and soft drink and there was three of them. Now it says if the concession stand charges 650 for a medium-sized popcorn, and $4 for a small soft drink, how much did the three friends spend on their refreshments altogether? So we're gonna put those numbers into our equation. So we have three times 650 plus four. Now first we're gonna do 650 plus four, so that's 1050 times three is 3150. So that's how much they spent altogether. Now we're evaluating expressions. So evaluate the following where y is equal, equals one. So we have five, times three minus four y. So first we're gonna substitute in y. So five times three minus four times y. So first we take four times one. So five times three minus four. Then we three minus four is negative one and multiply that times five is negative five. Same thing here, first substitute the numbers. So we're gonna multiply each of these by one. So we have 15 minus 10 minus 10. 15 minus 10 is gonna be five. Minus 10 again is negative five. Now it says evaluate the following where x equals 5 and y equals negative 2. So now we're adding in a second number. So first again, we write the equation. We write it negative 3 times 5 plus 12 times negative 2. So we just work our way from left to right in this case. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 and 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. Then we add them together. We get negative 39. Same thing over here. First substitute them. Then we're going to take negative 1 times 5 and four times negative two, add those two numbers, three times negative 13 is also negative 39. Now, another one, a family of 12 went to the local Italian restaurant for dinner. Every family member ordered a drink and a meal. So that's 12 drinks, 12 meals. Three of them ordered an appetizer and six people ordered cake for dessert. So it wants us to write an expression that can be used to figure out the cost of the bill. So drink, D is drink, M is meal, A is appetizer, and C is cake. So we have 12 times D, because everyone ordered a drink, plus 12 times M, because everyone ordered a meal, 3 times A, because only 3 ordered the appetizer, and 6 times C, because only 6 ordered cake. Now it says the waitress wrote on her order pad the following expression. 3 times 4D plus 4M plus A plus 2C. Is that correct? Yes, because if you multiply this out, you'd have three times four is 12, three times four is 12, three times one is three, and three times two is six, okay? So a couple notes, an expression is a number or a letter which can be raised to a whole number exponent. An expression can be a product whose factors are any one of the entities described above. An expression can also be the sum and difference of the products described above. To evaluate an expression means solve it. 
or simplify it, replace each variable with its corresponding numerical value. That's what we did when we replaced um, y with a number. Using order of operations, which is PEMDAS, parentheses, multiplication, or parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. The expression can be written as a single numerical value. When numbers are substituted into all the letters in an expression and the result, oops, sorry, and the results are the same, then the expressions are equivalent. Two expressions are equivalent if they yield the same number for every substitution of numbers for the letters in each expression. Okay, so we'll go back a few here. So that's these. They both came out with the same solution. So these expressions are equivalent. All right, so your assignment is to complete the Edmodo questions for lessons 17 to 19. I know that we went through those three lessons kind of quickly, so just let me know if you have any questions.